on this, uh, like, subscribe, follow us. Uh, you know, if you want to learn about eating eating that and, uh, you know, graffiti. So the is the food. The graffiti is the lifestyle streetwear. This is the pod for you. Uh, powerful truth angels like subscribe two tone. Hi everyone. This is Alex uh, slash two tone. I'd love you to like and subscribe to our podcast. It's called the powerful truth angels. And we are here to shed light into the darkness to bring truth to power and to also generally influence you in a positive way and make your life better after having heard us. That being said, we just had a, another one of our, I don't know, we've had 600 internal meetings about the nature of this stupid fucking show. And the best part about it is, mm. first of all, Maddie, I'll say Maddie is just, you know, a year and change in. Maddie is maybe just now understanding what a podcast is, which is interesting because, you know, when we started the show, uh, Maddie was convinced that we were Sylvie, we were, we were, we were filming a reboot of Silver Spoons and we needed a full crew. Uh, we needed, we needed 16 cameras. We needed six editors. And the reality is all we needed was probably an iPhone and somewhere to share a media file to upload some audio. But no, we turned in this bloated fucking carnival of bullshit. And now we're stuck with Lord Farquhar over here who just informed us that the whole time, we've been doing this show he's been putting up clips that have been purposely purposefully unfunny designed he's designing against design he goes listen i don't i didn't know you guys want funny clips (laughs) he's like i don't know you want funny clips the the, the human stork the human stork the fucking kneecaps of fucking olympus this fucking piece of shit when he sits down on my couch and he folds his his knees are three inches from his chin that's how long his legs are it's just gigantic Uh. cricket legs he says my couch. He, now what? he's getting angry. He just he now said my, you're saying talking shit on Two Toad's couch. <laughs> it's post It's a modern. It's a modern. Uh, he what is made it, a fact. He said my couch is bludgeoned by my ass. It's bludgeoned he's, by his ass. Yeah, he's saying that rude, there's a dip. Jason. That's fucking rude. Anyway, so Jason's been sabotaging us from the inside out, and that's what powerful truth angels really is. He's been sabotaging us. We we you know he he's like the left. He's like the stepchild that was left at the fucking zoo. And he was left there, and where we're, we are the animals, and we took him in, under our wing. And what did he do? He sabotaged us. And and by the sabotaging, you know what we did? We gave him a raise. So we gave him a raise because he thinks that he deserves it. And obviously, he's he's just taxing us to make more clips. So we're going to do that. And all around, we've had a great meeting. And now, Powerful Truth Angels is back in action. And the greatest thing about Powerful Truth Angels is the friendship between me and Two-Tone. And that friendship is derived from respect of uh, a free hoodie. The the core of our friendship is is from me asking for free free streetwear uh, and him accepting my friendship. And and that's it. The strength of streetwear has brought us together. The strength of streetwear has given you a life uh, that you never could have comprehended. You're now the new face of Los Angeles sports apparel. Mm. Um, mm. And 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 uh, and I sell merch that looks like it's sold at Walmart. So it's when, like, you know. When my phone plays back the memories, it goes back and it picks a year and it says, here's your friends and family. Oh. And it shows me f- f- pics of when I first met you. And if I look at those pictures, what I've deducted is Sweaty. that. You have aged incrementally in a, just wildly since those pictures, and no, I have been reversing. I look aging. young. I look younger. You look way. If I show you the pictures of you, it looks like this is between a nineteen-year-old and a forty-seven-year-old in those past like five years, look, five six years. I look like I'm like twenty right now. No, you looked like a baby when I met you, and now you just you've just kind of turned into some sort of uh, grizzly grizzly mountain man who's just kind of, you know, staggering through the woods looking for a Twinkie that doesn't exist in in nature. Oh, they exist. You just got to dig deep, my friend. With all due respect, dig deep. How are um, you, Maddie? I mean, look, it, uh, you know... I'm j- well, Two-Tone. Thanks for asking. We were talking to I Jason. 
just to kind of pile in more on Jason because he gets he gets here he gets he gets he gets irritated. He insulted me for the first time uh, since I've met him. He actually insult, he called me fat. He said I put a. When he did said he call you fat? He just said fuck I. You, he said Jason. I bludgeoned the couch with my fat ass. That's what he said. Yeah, you fucking fuck. Um, if well, I he, was, I swear to God, if I was there, I would be. Would you light him up? <laughs> I would. If he talked to you like that and I was there, if and that's crazy. It's crazy to talk to talk, a man. It, it's crazy to talk to a man like that in his own house on his own couch. And he work. You work. For, it's I'm his boss. I'm literally yeah, the physical. This is not a collaboration. Like I know he thinks that you're his boss, but he doesn't understand that I'm also his boss. He doesn't understand that that we own and that's PTA racist together. That he thinks that that's racism. It's racism. That's it's racism. totally racism. That is racism. And speaking of racism, I'm going to talk about. I talked to. I talked to. Um, I was talking to him earlier today, and mm. we were talking about you know because once again this is what happens. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pull back the curtain even further for all you PTA fans. Okay, this is what happens. Yeah. Backstage. They see it. Backstage at Powerful Truth Angels, and I'm just gonna let you know, like we, Maddie and I both live pretty busy lives. We're very busy guys. Maddie mm. has this whole empire just built on fucking chuckling at meatballs and yelling at Parmesan and making soup and. Um, um, stealing other Shared people's Cheeto. cultures Shared and turning them sponsors. into taco shops, whatever the fuck it is, he does. <laughs> he, you know, he he thrives. He's he's what they he does what they call it's a, a quote unquote a flourishing, and um, he he does really well. And there's you know he has a portfolio of all these. He doesn't stop doing shit. He's it's like he's got 16 cooking shows. It's just non. It's like a fucking runaway train with this guy. He doesn't stop. He never takes a breath. And he's got this podcast. Okay with me called powerful truth angels and and you know every every month or so he goes from calling me and saying dude this fucking podcast is sick i love it to going listen i'm gonna shut this down because we're not making enough money and i'm just like and my staff is tired of dealing with it we're doing it in my office it's a big weight on maddie's life not not on anyone <clears throat> else's life no one else has put any time into this but him obviously and every once in a while he threatens to shut it down and you know, and I and I and I turn to Jason today. And I go, okay, well, there's two things. Like Maddie, Maddie might not be able to do this in a little bit because it's not bringing him enough money. And what I said is, one thing is, like, I'm gonna keep doing it because I've invested my time and I'm not a quitter. I've never quit anything in my fucking life. And I'm gonna keep. Me? I will keep podcasting. Uh, and I'll find another way to keep it moving. I'll strip it down and make it smaller. But the reason why it's not working, I'll let you speak in one second. Is the reason why this podcast doesn't work for Maddie is. This this guy right here, I'm basically like everything in his world is going in one direction and it's one simple stupid message and I come in and just like I fucked it all up for him. If he would have put like mm. some, one of his cronies on one of his shows or if he would have put maybe a side of ham next to him in the podcast chair, this thing would probably be up at the same level, would be at the same level of all his other things. But because I'm mm. here, who the fuck am I? Nobody knows who the fuck I am. I'm not Benny Blanco. I'm not uh, any of his other famous friends, and I'm basically I'm basically holding him back. But conversely, this is the mm. most important artistic thing, the most important artistic endeavor he will ever mm. embark upon. And when it does go away, he will wistfully look back at it and say, "I had a chance to be a person. I had a chance to have artistic merit and to do something that meant something. And I flushed it down the toilet so I could fucking sell more soup." And I agree with you, Two-Tone, and thank you for pointing all of those things out because the greatest thing about, you know, charity, which this is, um, is giving back, you know? And it's just, you, you don't expect, I don't expect anything back. It's just, um, you know, maybe, maybe I could get something out of this. But, I, I, but the thing, too, it, it, it's a it's a perfect this thing is so perfect because everything you just said is is is, is um you know it's right <laughs> i i being being cool doesn't pay you know it, it, it doesn't poor. you know if i if i had my ham if i are you kidding me if i had my side ham like a like a big old fucking spiral ham next to me and I interviewed all of the cool, famous people I knew. And I was like, Ham, hey, what do you think about that? Yeah. Tell me how you made your first million, fucking buddy idiot. And the buddy idiot's like, oh, my God, let me tell you this story. And all my fans are like, oh, my God. And that post person posts about you. But no, this podcast, we are in the mud of emotions. Me and you are in the wave of the diarrhea splashing around. And, and that's just where we like to live. And the diarrhea is the art of life. And nobody really cares because the thing is, this is quality, not quantity. Jason, why the fuck did you just point, pop up on the Zoom screen?
Do you agree with me? We all are in agreement. Well, we're just spiraling around in the bowl of diarrhea. And, you know, I'm a man who thrives. I say if I shit solid, that's when I get scared. So, um, you know, I, I, I think I truly believe that this podcast is art. This podcast is life. <laughs> this, this podcast is everything that doesn't make me money. And I do love doing it. It, it keeps me connected to my friend Alex. It, it makes me have, I get to, you know, I guess look at Jason for about <laughs> a couple minutes every week. Yeah. Um, which I do truly, all the shit talk and all the meannesses that I do say to Jason, I am extremely grateful. Every morning I wake up and on my uh, gratitude list, Jason's number one. I, I like to wake up, get on my knees, and I write my gratitude list every day yeah. on my knees. Yeah. Jason's number one always. I'm thankful for Jason. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for Jason being in my life. I'm grateful for all the opportunities he's brought me. I'm grateful for all of the every morning. That every morning you get up, podcast. every morning you get up and you unroll a giant sheet of papyrus and with a quill, you write out your yes. gratitude list. It takes you about 94 minutes. Jason. In calligraphy, Jason. you're just like, I'm grateful for the sun out and the fact that Mac only punched me in the balls once this morning. I'm grateful mm. for Jason. Why did Jason come on this Zoom? I don't understand what's going on here. I don't know either. I'm not only an, an advertiser for this product, I'm a member of the family of the uh, chefs that are green. Green Chef is the first USDA certified organic meal kit mm company green chef makes eating well easy oh. and affordable with plans to fit every lifestyle whether you're keto mm. paleo vegan vegetarian little nauseaxian or satanic or just looking to eat healthier there's a wide range of recipes to suit any diet or preference and i'll tell you right now in the fridge i have four meal kits left i ate green chef yesterday i ate green chef the day before i had a delicious shrimp with cojita cheese the other day i made pork chops i never made pork chops my entire fucking life until i got green chef i'm cooking things that i never would have cooked before just out of like ignorance i got barramundi mm. fish i make salmon it's fucking delicious what I did you say barramundi is that how do you how do you pronounce that fish i love barramundi yeah barramundi how does yeah, oh i'm sorry mate uh well, how do you no. canadians say it <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> nah, Bear Monday. It's Bear fine. Monday. You killed it. Look, I'm making uh, food that I would have never, ever, ever thought to make, and I would have been scared to make, and I'm making amazing dishes that blow my mind. My girlfriend's impressed. I have a friend over. I go, you want some fucking chicken cutlets with cream uh, risotto cheeses? And I even got I got, I got our friend, uh, my buddy Alex Maslansky's cooking dishes and sending me pictures. I got Jimmy. It's going fucking crazy. Green Chef is sweeping the nation. Okay, take you listen. Yeah. You should be scared, Maddie. You should be scared about. I'm this. scared. I'm scared, but you know, I'm still so thankful. Uh, Green Chef is the first ever and only keto meal kit on the market. It makes sticking to a low carb lifestyle easy with yep, recipes yep. averaging only 14 net carbs each. Green Chef's vegan. <sighs> oh, sorry. Oh, Green Chef's me? Green Chef's keto diet really got the pep in your step. Green Chef's vegan and vegetarian recipes are high in plant proteins and rich in omega 3s. Experts find mm. that following a plant based diet decreases the possibility of high blood pressure and boosts mm. your immune system. Well, you know what? Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh, and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. Two Tone uses Green Chef, and Jason has it's been true. on the HelloFresh train since we started doing this podcast. Wow, guys, our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with us. I just got mm -hmm. the delivery yesterday. It's in a it's in a big uh, box with the big ice cubes that keep it cold. You unpack it. It's fucking paint by numbers, but in the kitchen. It's so damn easy. It's ridiculous. There's a little package mm. that says, here's your spices. Here's your chicken. Tells you exactly what to do. Next thing you know, you're a fucking five-star chef. And mm. uh, you, the chef gets a kiss. And the chef gets to mm. eat his own meal. And it, it basically takes an idiot like me and turns you into a culinary genius. Exactly. Go to greenchef.com slash 90PTA and use code 90PTA to get $90 off, including free shipping. Wow. Once again, go to greenchef.com forward slash 90PTA and use code 90PTA to get $90 off, including free shipping. Get the number one meal kit for eating well now. Benny Blanco is trying to FaceTime me. Should we FaceTime Benny Blanco? Yeah, put Benny on. Put it.
Okay. Benny. Yo, I I got it. Go, but um, what's his name? Is going nuts. You're on the podcast. Oh my god. Benny Blanco is on powerful. I know exactly who he's talking about, and I know who he's talking about. We're just having a good time. Is, do you have a new album out? Can you talk to us about your new... Your, what's your favorite song on your album? What, what, what's your favorite taco that the birria truck sells? What is your... I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a case of birria guy. You know that. I like the cheese. I got, I got, wait, aren't I supposed to be on the show? Is this me being on? No, this is definitely not you being on. This is us triggering a wave of celebrity that the powerful truth angels will never be able to handle. So Benny Blanco... This. Will you come on the podcast? Yes. Have you guys spoken to Heavy lately? <laughs> he said yes. We've tried it. We've got listen. We've got ten minutes in the podcast without saying the we H word. We got ten minutes into this podcast, and now and we, Heavy. We, uh, we've already had us talking that we weren't going to talk about Heavy, and the military entourage that he's looking for. Yeah, guys. I really think you guys. I really think it's a big mess here if he doesn't become a co-host. Okay. Well, we need to add. I think. I think heavy needs. I think heavy. I think the only thing that can save heavy is maybe the powerful truth angels. Yes. Oh my God. Are you? Are you guys the military enforcement? <laughs> We're more like a navy. Is he asking for it because he's because two tone sent some people after the mammalians. Well, he came at the Mamillions drunk on late at night on the stories. Send the Mamillions and send Dr. Cornelius after me, Two Tone and Maddie. This shit sucks, bro. But well, we'll see what how this all really pans out. I'm glad he found a really nice person to wash his car. So it's a, there's a lot of stuff going on, you know. You guys are you guys are crazy. You're not gonna catch me in this. I, I you know I'm the, when I go on with you guys, I'm gonna come so juiced up. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> I'm gonna make Heavy's episode look like. <laughs> you, have, you have no idea, dude. We're <laughs> shooting it. Should we shoot it in the theater? Yeah, yeah. And are you gonna be there? Yeah, well, we're gonna shoot it when I'm there. Like we're gonna shoot it like before we shoot Eat on America. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, of course we should. Or should we shoot it at Two Tones? I want to. You want to come to Two Tones? We'll come to Two Tones. <laughs> Yeah, let's okay, we'll do it at two tones. Okay, perfect. Okay, we got to go, Benny. Can I have some merch? <laughs> we don't have merch. <laughs> I want merch. We only have our merch, Benny. Do you want some want L.A. Dodgers? I want to see you fully kitted in a full born you want some and raised born, You want kit. some born and raised merch, uh, Benny? I got you. I'm so kitted up in a born and raised kit. So juiced up. I might take steroids for the first time right before. You should do a full cycle before. We should do a live. All of us do a cycle of steroids on the podcast. Let's do HGH. Okay. Fuck it. Let's do HGH. Let's get Dip Dog on and we'll fucking lace <laughs> our asses with some fucking HGH. All right, guys. Go call someone better than me. Okay. Bye, Bye Benny. So... DMX I like, I like that Benny Benny wants to come do it at my house because what he like he has a fetish where he goes let's go look at a poor person's house and just to <laughs> just so I can just so I can leave and, and I giggle. Think he wants to see what it's really. He's like, no, I got to see what what's really going on here. Yeah, yeah. I think he just wants to meet Omar. Really, he talks about Omar all the time. He's like, he's like, so he's like, hey, Alex, uh, where's your where's your candy reservoir? Where where's <laughs> Where, where's, where's your theater? Where's your, where, where's your theater? Where's your fucking popcorn credenza? Because like you know, you go to he's just like, you know, the ultimate sign of wealth is when is when you when you have all the candy when they're like a Seven Eleven in their house, which is pretty cool. But I would have personally, I wouldn't have candy, right? I would have organic. You know, it'd be amazing if you made the set look like. Uh like his theater, like he shows up, you just got like bags of chips on your couch. Yeah, <laughs> you set up like a full like like craft services. Yeah. Um, you know, this has been a great pod so far. I'm really excited about it. Um, I love that Benny calls you, and yeah. I can already tell by the way his lips are moving who he's talking about. I know why he's calling you. And uh, the man, the man is a professional, not Benny, the man that he's talking about is a professional at keeping his name in people's mouths. It's mind boggling. <laughs> I mean, we're obsessed. We're fucking obsessed. I, I, I can't. It's like a, it, it's. Yeah, I don't even know if we're friends anymore. But at this point, it's just like we just need to make sure the heavy's safe. 
I think. Right. <laughs> I don't even like he he tried to FaceTime me last week. I didn't pick up, and then all of a sudden, I think we saw clips. Um, he was yelling at us about something about me and you and our podcast is shit and whatever. And then he's been on one. He's been on one since the Las Vegas, and then got kicked out of Las Vegas. It seems like he's back in Las Vegas, and um, you know the flourishing. And then he asked somebody for fifty thousand dollars. He needs fifty thousand dollars to flip something, and it's just <laughs> he's flipping lot. birds. And then, and then, and then, but the greatest thing is just now in the stories was he wants um, security of military uh, performance to. He needs he needs to hire a couple of a couple guys from Mossad to to follow him around, guys that are adept <laughs> in Krav Maga and have submachine guns, and they need to protect him because. I don't know what, I don't know why, from what. But. He needs like the bad guys and like the other guys yeah. to come and like help him. You know, like it's yeah. just like. Secret service. He, like it, it's like, is it for him or is it for his friend? Is it? Or does he, he have friends? Or do like, you know. Is, who's it for? Do you know how rich and powerful you have to be to have the earpiece guys around you? Like, you know, guys that are rich, they don't have, I've never met anyone that has an earpiece guy around. Like an actual <laughs> art, like a guy in a suit with an earpiece that like clears the way for you and like. That's so crazy. I've only seen one. I know one person that like rocks with something like that. And it, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, me, it is like one of those things where you're just like, why? Why? Like you have literally, it's just like, are you the prince or princess or like who, um, you know, it, it's, I don't even, um, I don't even travel with like a manager or any, like I don't, I don't do anything. Well, and I'm not anybody. I'm yeah. certainly not anybody. But like, no. I think it's it's more about. Um, hopefully, he finds it. I hope he finds the military because those are cheap. Like, I think to find like you yeah, know to have like a get... convoy and have like somebody who can like kill somebody yeah. at, at the at the at the Tra you know Tra snap of a finger. Imagine, like, I think those come pretty cheap. Imagine that man does have access to a trained like. Uh, a heavy like imagine he has a guy that goes with him now and this guy is like totally fucking a psycho and he's mm -hmm. he's got a license to carry he's got a he's got a concealed carry license he's a black belt and fucking he's got a keto a yeah for some reason he has a sword and heavy's just mm -hmm. dropping he's just like get him you know he's like there's two tone and then and i get two i get he just up. rolls up like right now outside your window yeah He's like, two tone, come downstairs. Let's do this. I come downstairs all fired up, and it's just some fucking some nutbag just puts me in a dumpster. Just you know? giant. He's this like hairy shoulders, glistening, beautiful Israeli man. Yes. Who beautiful. just is gonna like snap your neck. Yeah. He's just like snap my neck. You. So before you, you talk to my man, you talk to my man heavy. Before I have uh Jason remove himself from the Zoom, I just wanna I just wanna It's a bit obnoxious. It's a bit not even a, it's a bit presumptuous for him to be. Well, no, on don't don't don't, screen, don't go off yet. He, I can listen, he's really he's upset. <laughs> and he gets upset. Is he upset we gave him a raise? He's upset we gave him a no, raise. No, he's upset that like he gets I upset. I want to give him all of the money. I, I listen, it's he's a human being. It's okay to have emotions, it's okay to get upset. You get, you know, like, I, uh, ultimately, Jason does his job. Uh, we're trying to tune it up a little bit, but it is <laughs> quite a revelation to job. find out a year in that he's been like, listen, I don't, I didn't know you guys wanted funny. <laughs> I didn't know you guys wanted funny. He's like, you guys want funny viral shit? He's, I, that's what you guys want? Because I thought you wanted like he's really like, you obscure. Want, you know, I, I'm going to put on the mu mundane conversation that ends halfway through a sentence. I like the mundane like conversation clips. This is we're trying to go top forty fucking. This is music now clips. We're not trying to do like some obscure fucking slint track that no one's ever heard. You know, like <laughs> it, you know, it's like two tone with the reference, Let's right? Go. Like I, you know, we're, we're we're talking. We want fucking uh, Jay Z and Beyonce clips, right? We want we want fucking right. I we want. want Play the hits, baby. We want to play the yeah, fucking hits. I want, I want, I want the clip to be like you. You know when you smell like Cinnabon? Yes. You know what Cinnabon's cooking. You know, yes. You know what Cinnabon's cooking? Yeah. It, it, Look, you know, it's not hot dogs. <laughs> it's Cinnabon. That's what this po this podcast is like. The clips need to be like when you smell Cinnabon. You walk in, in the fucking mall and you smell. What's that? The stripper I saw that I gave my last twenty dollars to when I was sixteen years old. No, that's Cinnabon. Okay. Okay, that's Cinnabon. French vanilla. 
Okay? It's a thankless. Cinnabon. Listen, the I'm podcast gonna... should be, the clip should be Cinnabon. They know they're coming here to laugh. They're excited. I'm looking at Jason's um, notes. And... Even the best thing ever, the comments in the one fucking post, legitimately, when they're like, what do you think? What do you think this episode's about? Most of them is just like, well, you know, it's probably going to talk about food or graffiti. Come. Come. It's going to be come. Most, yeah. of the, most of the comments literally were just like, come, jizz. And I want to thank you guys because I think you guys really get us. And I think anybody that posted that is listening. And I appreciate those people that are listening. I appreciate the people that are loving our podcast, that are here for the podcast, that feel the podcast. And um, Jason likes to behold the funny from our fans. Withhold. Yeah. I, speaking Withhold, of come, just to do a little come. Beholden. I'm beholden to Jason's bone structure. I wish I had his bone structure. Speaking of come, maybe I, that's why we're haters because we're two fat fucks and you're just like this skinny, tall, lanky, deep voiced motherfucker. No. Um, okay. Speaking of come, just to get a little come segment in, I saw this thing of the greatest tweets of Ice T. And in one of the oh. tweets, he says, he says something about busting a nut that's so crazy that it feels like every bone in your body has cracked at the same time. And it really stuck with me because I read it yesterday and it's been in my head. And I'm just like, have you ever been busted a nut that good? Where you literally like mm. every bone just <clears throat> like a mind, a mind. Numb. Like, I don't think men have the ability to come that good. Women do. I just don't think men can experience Ours that level. quick. Or maybe like sting is prolonged. Sting. But I don't even think the, the full bone cracking is like, I think that is like the ultimate day. It's like you have a healthy breakfast. Yeah. And then, and then you work out. And then it's like a warm summer day mm -hmm. and you have sex for like, uh, like straight, like a 20 minute sesh, but like good, like an honest, like yeah. you, you know, like you hit your, like you hit your rhythm yeah. and you're like, I'm, I'm going good here. And honest I'm, I'm like, work. I'm fucking longer than 10 minutes and yeah. I'm not even ready to come yet. Yeah. This is go time. Yeah. It's happening for me. Is she going to come? Probably not, but we're still going, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and it's just like, all right, am I digging into the right walls? Am I, yeah. which ang am I going in? Am I going left? Yeah. Am I picking up the hips a little bit? Yeah. Am I bending the hips a little bit? Am yeah. I? Am I doing everything that I need to do? Yes. And you're, then all of a sudden. You're doing a good, you know, honest day's work. You're plowing the field. You're trying. You're breaking your back. Your head's in it. Yeah. Your head's in you're it. You're in the so game. I think the bone breaking, you're, to break all of your bones from an orgasm from a male, yeah. your head has to be in it first. Then your body. Right. And then the, the win is the broken bones. And don't forget, don't forget, Maddie, don't forget your heart has to be involved too. The heart. Yes, me yes. too. Okay. I remember. I remember one time Trish said that I'm happy that we never make love. I remember she said that once and it was like the funniest <laughs> thing that ever. Like honestly, that's a good clip. See, that's a fucking good clip. I remember I remember when it was like the funniest thing. She was just like one day we were like doing something. She's like, I'm really happy that like we never try to make love. And I was just like, Yeah, me too. <laughs> like just like I don't know. Well, like, like that's when what, I knew. That's when I knew she was like. She's saying she's happy family. that you guys never have a tender embrace. It's just disgusting pig fucking the whole time. Is that what she's saying? I mean, let's not go. There. See, that's not. See, I'm oh, trying to define what making it. love is. What that means. I don't. I don't know. I don't think I. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What did like, she mean by know. that then? I think she just likes that we ground and pound. You know, like we fucking. Spark. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm looking don't talk at about my wife. Don't my wife, the, uh, DMX, rest in peace. Um, rest in peace, Dark Man X. DMX, um, DMX definitely was one of the earliest um, gay rappers. He had a lot of, he had a lot of, he he talked a lot about getting his dick sucked by men in a lot of his lyrics, which I've been, I've been, I've like, I'm, DM, I'm a fan of DMX, and I always, always, there's a buddy of mine I always talk to about like. I would just point out sus DMX lyrics and be like, you know, DMX says, if you've ever been to jail before, suck my dick. And then another like few minutes later, it's like, everybody up in here, suck my dick. Suck and, uh, my dick. You're like everybody. Okay. I mean, he's, listen, he's a, he's a fan of fellatio and wherever wherever him and Prince Philip are, as the memes uh, have described. Did they die on the same day? Was it the same day or the day after? They died the same Philip? second. They died exactly. That's why everyone's freaking out is because they died like in the same oh. nanosecond. And their souls have been joined forever um, in, in eternity. So, you know, it makes you wonder, are we all just on an episode of Lost, right? What's going on? See, that's the thing. That is, I agree with you. I often, you agree with I've me. I've never watched Lost, but I think that I would like to watch it because I think um, there's a lot to be, uh, you know, 
understood from that show. That yeah. aligns with what you just said. Does I'm just that looking make at sense to you. Yes, I totally was listening, and I'm just looking at um some of the, some of the notes here. Uh, Little Nas X <laughs> has his uh, satanic track called Montero. Call me by your name. It's a, it hits number one on Billboard. Global. It's a global number one. It's right. Worldwide he, number one. He released a shoe with a drop of blood in it, and uh, I liked that. Like I liked that this ruse. This has been going on since like. Probably it's probably been going on forever. It's probably going on since like the bib, like even back before media, they probably someone would be like, "I'm evil," and everyone would be aghast, and it would be a way to get attention. But since the mm. '60s and '70s, at least, they've been running the same shit of like, "I'm into the devil," and then the whole country just goes fucking nuts, and that person makes millions of dollars, and and it doesn't matter, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's the fucking," you know, it's like, and now little now little Nas X is the devil, and he's he's freaking Satan. And you know the and the and 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 the pundits are. He's punditing. freaking like freaking freaking Satan. I haven't, I haven't even watched the video. We should watch the video I together. I haven't seen the video. Should we watch the video? Let's that watch the be fucking video podcast. because if, let's watch the video. I know we're late to up. the. I know we're late to the game, but I know that everyone's in an uproar. I haven't seen the video. I think it's just like him on a. He's on a uh, pool. Yeah, everyone's he's everyone's freaking out, and it's like he he th- he him. gives the devil a lap this dance. This is great. I was talking to uh, I was talking to Jason about uh, James Bond film called Do You Never You Only Live Twice. Is that what it is? You never lived. You never die once. Mm-hmm. It's in the Sean Connery uh, oeuvre, oeuvre of of Bond films, and yeah. uh, you know, back in those days, they thought it was cool if he goes to Japan. He's doing some Japanese espionage, and um, mm. and while he's in Japan, he has to go deep cover, and he's told that he has to become a ninja. Mm. And in order to become a ninja, he has to have a surgery to get uh, those epicant. What do they call those? The 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 fold, the epicantic. He has to get the surgery to make his eyelids appear more Japanese. This is in a film. Mm. I didn't write this movie. Roald Dahl no, did of no, James and the Giant no. Beach. And uh, he has to get surgery. And what they do is they give him a surgery to make his eyelids heavier. And they give him a very nice like Caesar, which is supposed to be a bulk mm. And that instantly makes him Japanese. Right. And why do I bring that up? Uh, because I'm more of a Daniel Craig, uh, James Bond type. He would never do any bullshit like that. Um he would never. He would never uh, pretend to be of another race, and uh, he would never, you know, get surgery. Oh, <laughs> look at look at Sean Connery as Doctor Spock. It's fucking sick. Anyways, so you know, I'm a Daniel Craig Bond, and uh, that just leads me back full circle to. In my time in Japan, I've, I've been into the land of the rising sun many times, and I've entered. I took a, I took the love train to Kyoto and went to an onsen, and I bathed uh, outdoors in the winter in a hot tub with another man that I was with, and they had to put us in our own room. We weren't allowed to use a public bath because we're covered in tats, and we sat out there in the winter, and uh, we bathed ourselves. And, and when I think about that time I spent in Japan, I, it makes me think of – a unique product that we have the honor of supporting on this podcast, and it's called Goshi. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you something. There are things in your life that you don't know you need. There's the iPhone, there's the automobile, there's parchment and pens, and now the other item that you didn't know you needed until now is the Goshi towel. Do you want to feel the softest and cleanest you've ever felt? Do you want to step out of your shower feeling brand mm. motherfucking new, like a new person? Like as if an alien came down and created a brand new person free of disease and sadness and trauma and neglect and remorse. Everything washed away. Soft and polished as if you were just born. The Goshi exfoliating shower towel is quoted by Vogue is a transformative experience. Goshi levels up your showering routine by achieving the final form of hygienic cleanliness. Exfoliating exfoliating is essential. It clears away dead skin, reduces and removes any unsightly back knee, and in some instances helps mm. with keratosis and other common skin problems. And I'm going to tell you something mm-hmm. else about Goshi. Goshi is blowing the fuck up. I talked to I talked to Garrett Gosh. from Goshi. I mean, I don't care. I don't know. He Garrett Garrett's getting billboards. He's got he's got uh, things happening with other companies that involve race cars. He's got uh, mm-hmm. he might mm-hmm. do he might one day pitch to Born and Raised to do a collab. Who the fuck knows? He's on one. This guy is on, on a one. sick one because nobody mm. fucking knew they needed to get the dead skin off their bodies, man. I know. Get, get it no. off of me. You gotta get the dead skin get off. Get it off of me. This might help. Look, this might I have, even help Maddie emotionally. I have a dry forehead thing. I have this eye thing in between my eyebrows. Yeah, Everyone always comments. I got one too. I got this thing. It won't go. It's been Everyone always year. comments me. Everyone yeah. comments and they're like, are you dying? And I'm like, no, I just have a dry patch. 
And Goshi. you know what? I scrub it with my Goshi. Goshi is crafted in the finest textile mills of Japan in a region where fabrics have been produced for over 1,400 years. The Goshi exfoliating shower towel is woven with subtly contrasting fibers that both scrub your skin clear and wash your body clean in all those hard-to-reach spots. Um, I have a lot of hard-to-reach spots. Name one. Uh, like whatever it is underneath all the other stuff. Is that clear? No. Name your hard-to-reach spot. And that spot. Goshi cleans it. What's it's like I've never flossed spot? my body. Mm. Like in between like anything lower than my arms. Mm. Anything lower than my arms. Maybe I can't touch my back. <laughs> He's got the dinosaur problem. He can't touch his back. My you little know, arms. I have little arms. You know what my you know what my hard to reach spot is, Maddie? No, where? Like your toe? Can you touch my, your toes? It's my heart. Your heart. And Goshi but got Goshi there. But Goshi can still clean your heart. Goshi, Goshi can got still there. clean your heart. And, Goshi um, is uh, simple to use. You mm, add soap and water, you lather use. vigorously, and you scrub away. Try Goshi, the softest and cleanest you'll ever feel. Follow the link, goshi.jp forward slash PTA for 10% off your entire order. That's goshi.jp forward slash PTA for 10% off your entire order. Goshi.jp forward slash PTA. Maddie, do a call to action for our, for our good friend Garrett. Oh, you know what? If you go to goshi.jp slash PTA, you get 10% off your entire order. That's a goshi.jp PTA for 10% off your entire order. Goshi.jp slash PTA. Hey, Goshi, scrub me up. Scrub me down. Scrub me all around. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Goshi! While this gets sorted out, uh, what's going on with you, Maddie? What's happening? Well, I was just about to tell a story about. I remember my mom found my satanic Bible. Um, what? How old were you? You had to say. Was this when you were a Mormon? Uh, no, it wasn't when we were practicing Mormon, but it was like probably like grade nine, I think. Like grade nine. And she found it like in my, like where I had kept all my records and my like seven inches and shit. Yeah. And she was just like, I came home and it was like on the top of my bed. Why did you? That didn't work out, eh? The little Nas X video. Thank you. Why did you? It's, um, it's coming back. Why did you have that? Why did I have the satanic Bible? Yeah. You froze. Valid question. Did you freeze? Hello? Why did I have the satanic Bible? Yes. Um, I don't know. I was like a young, impressionable youth. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, let's watch this. No, hold we'll on, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. We we finished talking about this now. I want to talk about the Satanic Bible for a second. Did you okay. think? Did you think you were going to open up a portal with your Satanic Bible? I did not think I was going to open up a portal. I just was like so heavily uh, engulfed in Mormonisms that when I saw the Satanic Bible, it's one of those things where I was like, "Huh, that looks cool." And it literally, I, I don't, I forget who gave it to me and, and I had it. And then my mom went and, and I remember walking in my room and it was like, my bed was made and like, it was on my bed. And I walked in, and I was just like, huh? And then like my mom like walked right in. She had it like planned, you know, to like, we're going to talk about this. And I was just like, what's up? And she's like, what is this? And I was like, it's a satanic Bible. And she's like, well, why do you have this? And I was just like, I don't know. I'm punk. Like, what do you want from me? Like right. I'm, I'm like, you know, anti-society. What's up? I like that. She, she I like, like that. She went through your stash and ignored like butt Chuck magazine and stud magazine and just pulled out the Bible. She left all the disgusting. First of all, I didn't have butt Chuck. I had like voluptuous. I love. Remember voluptuous. I loved voluptuous. That's nothing. Um, okay. So, Whatever. so she, so you had the satanic Bible. Did you read it? Because from what I know about Satanism, like true Satanist, I didn't, I, I, I don't remember. Cause like, I don't retain anything whatsoever. Anyway. You don't, you're so like I a goldfish. Like, yeah. Yeah. From, so I'm like, I think I, I more had it because it was like cool. And I thought it was like something to have. Pretty you know? cool. I'm listening to like death metal and yeah. I'm listening to all this stuff. And I'm yeah. just like, yeah, man, like let's listen to fucking deicide and Bathory and like yeah. behemoth and all this shit. And like, oh, look, <laughs> satanic Bible, <laughs> you, like let's you, rock. You finally got Jason back on board. He's smiling for the first time in this show. Uh, okay, listen, Jason. from what I from Jason's what I know like, about Satan, from what I know about Satanism, is their whole platform is like, hey, uh, take care of yourself. Don't do whatever you want, and don't hurt anybody. But also, you know, um, pick yourself up by your bootstraps, which is like sounds like a great. It sounds great when they when they talk about what it is they're really into, uh, and it's like they're all about like telling the truth. Like it's basically like the Satanism is like what Christianity is supposed to be and what the Republican yeah. Party is supposed to be, and. Uh, 
Sounds great, but then people get maybe they should start reading the satanic. Somebody should read it out loud. I bet. You, I wonder, is there a YouTube of somebody reading? No, page there's by page there's the no Bible? there's no chance that there's anyone on YouTube reading the satanic Bible. That's impossible. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, you know, the Alistair Crowley satanic and the and the Bible. guys over at the uh, J, JPL Laboratories were doing all kinds of satanic shit back back in the day. Reading aloud um, live, part one of three. <laughs> yeah, of course. Anything that anything that you need to. To have on two uh, hours, so it's four hours. Speak of the let's just let this play. Oh my god, yeah, let's hear it. Ten, whenever therefore a lie has built unto itself a throne, let it be assailed without pity and without regret. Oh, for under the domination of an inconvenient falsehood, no one can prosper. This dude is tight. Look how well quaffed he is. Eleven, he's quaffed. Let established. Sophisms be dethroned, rooted out, burned, destroyed, for they are standing menace to all true nobility of thought and action. Twelve. Swag. All right, let's Whatever play a little Nas X. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? The twelve? Is he going through like? Is this like the traditions here? We got the twelve traditions. You should traditions just, you should just have traditions? that playing in your office at all times until it gets indoctrinated. All right, let's check out this video, we're gonna, man. This, we're gonna listen. I'm gonna get Jack, Jackie. Make sure we download the uh, satanic <laughs> satanic Bible live reading. Hey everybody, we're about four yeah. weeks late with this little Nas X video that we're gonna watch for the first time because we're <laughs> fucking washed. Let's go. <laughs> Powerful truth angels, we are behind. We are two old men. Again, look at that. T the type treatment's gorgeous. Look at the CGI world. It's amazing. Turn it up, Jason. It's like coming to America. I want to feel it. Sick. Look at this. What? Whoa, look at this snake. <gasps> Can I go? Damn, this is sick. This Jason, is can you move this? Oh. oh, look at that guy. What? Damn, this is sick. What? <laughs> Wait, why is there a... It's like a dickhead guy. Yo, this is like... Can you... Can you imagine... <laughs> when it's a pause. Can you... Maddie, can you imagine like being somewhere? Can you imagine like I used to have this fantasy that there would be a way to beam this this era's media into the fifties, right? Like I used to have this fantasy that like there would be some weird wormhole time loop where all of a sudden all of the mm -hmm. media of today would end up going back to the fifties and sixties and basically making like middle Americans completely lose their fucking marbles. Like, but even right now, there's people watching this that are so fucking fucked. Like, this is making them burn in their skin. They cannot handle this, and they can't handle it. They at can't all. handle it. Like all these because it makes them feel every emotion that it they makes them feel a bunch let of things loose and and and. They just make them feel. They're like, why do I feel this way? It's why like I, the first right. time, like you, you know, like it's like they're turned on, they're turned off, like they don't even know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking itchy. They're just like, this is making me like so horny. Yeah, but yeah. why I can't feel this, so I have to de demonize this. I have they're to like, demolish why do I feel this. So horny, and then they hate themselves, and then they hate the thing that made them feel horny. It's like what Nietzsche said. Let's keep and he said, he said, destroy what makes you horny, and that's what they're destroy. That's what they're, that is literally. Christianity and, and, and most <laughs> like white people that do meth, like all the pastors that do meth and like are yes. held up in like motels with like, 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 you know, young, uh, male sex workers. That's yeah. the, that's what they're trying to do. They're like, trying, they're trying to free themselves by meth and, 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 and pegging. It's almost worth, listen, I'm going to tell you something. It's almost worth being a closeted gay preacher who's on meth because the taste of that forbidden fruit when you have it is so goddamn delicious. Oh. When you're holding back your whole life, and then you finally give in, and you you hire a male escort, like you, you're, you're you're literally like your son's like the captain of the football team, yes, or the priest, yes. Like it's like every single thing. Your <laughs> wife is like she owns like she owns a car dealership, yes. And it's just like it, it's like everything is so incredible. <laughs> she, she owns a and car then, like, dealership. Weekends, she also bakes oh, every night. She fucking got dinner on the oh, table. Your son's a stud, and you just want to yeah. fuck. You just want to fuck a twink so bad, and it's so oh forbidden. And you've been you build a whole life 
life around this lie that you don't want to fuck twinks, but you want to fuck this. And then you see the little yeah. Nas X video and you just lose your shit and you and buy an like Air 15. This, yeah. this person's living so freely. We yeah. must destroy them. Must destroy freedom. Must destroy real freedom. Okay, let's watch. Little Nas. Let's go. First of all, this video is incredible. It's incredible. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yes. What does it say? Yes. So he's playing every part. He pulled a real Eddie Murphy. This is incredible. Maddie, you know if we don't talk over this, it's dead air, right? <laughs> Maddie's like lost in this video. Yes. What? A spear that turned into a stripper pole all the way to hell. Yeah, it's not it's not the Satanism that they're freaking out about. It's fucking little Nas's ex cramming his cock into that little bulgy thing. They can't handle it. They can't handle a an androgynous black man who spent this much money on CGI. That's what really makes him angry. Oh. Yeah. This is good. Dude, Maddie is titillated right now. Pause it. Maddie, this what is are you? This a perfect music video. Maddie is lost in this fucking thing. You were just like. <laughs> I'm just watching you it. Check... Like, I can see this is why it's make. I'm like, I would leave my wife and all my children for Lil Nas X. They're angry. Listen, these people that are angry are angry that he has he has a $1.6 million budget for graphics. That's what they're angry about. They're not angry. They're angry that like, yes. They're, they're angry that this video is truly making them so horny. Because how could you watch this and not think it's anything but like, like, like how masterful what this What do you mean? Thing. You're watching this and being like, I want to fuck the devil. It's yeah. It's and the thing is everything. It's a black gay man. Wa fu like being like, this is a, the most incredible music video of all time ever made. And look, in a different time before the news cycle and before social media and before there's so much, you know, because we get hit with things every four minutes. There's like another thing happening. Before that, mm -hmm. this would be this would be a scandal for about six months, right? <laughs> People would be going to court. There'd be a fucking tribunal. <laughs> like kids, they kids. banned this video. How many how many countries is this video banned in? First of all, oh, I'm is this sure thing, this, this is thing banned. is definitely playing in in uh, Qatar and places like that for sure in a loop. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, different time. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's funny. It's funny what people, is it banned anymore? What is it banned? Tunisia is a ba it's banned in Tunisia. It's banned in Tunisia. Um, no, that's the movie. That's the movie. Call me by your name. Oh, really? Yeah. You're yeah. going to just, okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. Well, little that, Nas that's X. That's a nice video. It's great. He killed it. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's, I just think it's so funny to, 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 to be angry about something that like, you know, what um alice cooper did <laughs> like like you know yeah well that's the thing it's the same as like ozzy eating the dove of the head of a dove it's the same as manson it's the same like it's just freaking out but this is like comes from a real i think like this comes from like a real place that i think needs to shine i think the ultimate version of this too is like the real bad boy version now is is basically like you know interdimensional QAnon pedophilia is like the new version i mean it is all satanism too and maybe that's what you know you can't just say like i'm into satan and get people angry you have to be like no there's a whole there's an international uh jet full of kids flying around fucking senators that gets people i mean which is probably fucking true and it's like snow piercer it's like snow piercer yeah. but it's just like <laughs> if, senator if Instead of eating, eating the little children or eating the people that made out of like the human bug bars, it's just like, yeah, that's it. We lost them. That's what. The I mean, I, I think that Bannon, I, Bannon, uh, I saw a thing where Bannon, it was in the, it was like in a very, in a real news source that Bannon said that he targeted incels with all this shit because they're so easy to manipulate. And that's, yeah. you know, this whole, if you watch that doc that we've talked about, the whole thing is like, this whole thing was a fucking crazy internet 
fucking psyop Cambridge Analytica like thing to manipulate people into doing what they want. And he targeted the most like easily accessible uh, people who don't leave the internet and people who are easy to, who are malleable, which is fucking incels. And apparently there's a lot more of them than we've known. And then they, you know, then they spread it around, uh, around the country. Um, they love spreading it. So most, uh, Maddie is, <laughs> is Alex the same person as two tone is another question that, uh, Jason proposed here. And, um, just no. general show topics. Um, yeah. Is Alex the same person as two tone? Think about it. Do you want to answer you that? You left out the best point of it. Think about it. No, you know what? I think Two Tone and Alex are the same person because now I think there was like, you know, I think I I, I do believe that Two Tone. It's the same as like Maddie and like when my mom calls me Matthew. You know, like like I you know like it's like everybody calls you Two Tone. Yeah, when you my know? mom calls me Two Tone, I go mom. Cool. No, my mom's never We're called like, me two-tone. And my, she's like, she, like she's packing your lunch and she just puts in like a spray can. She's yeah. like, wink, two-tone. My, my parents it. never, I never, in my that part of my life was never a part of my family. I kept it all very separate. But there were families. Did your parents, what did your parents genuinely, like what did your mom genuinely, when you first started doing graffiti, like, my, what did, did my your mom, my mom? My mom was on the East Coast uh, most of yeah. the time. And when I was very young, she, she moved back to New York. I stayed here in L.A. And I remember my dad, I kept my dad out of, like I was doing graffiti and I left home and I had my own apartment and I just lied. I would say, you know, he knew I was a graffiti writer. He'd be like, I would be like, yeah. He goes, well, what kind of graffiti are you doing? I'm like, well, I do murals, you know, and I don't do any of that tagging shit. And he's like, okay, okay. You know, and then and not that my dad ever really got like super involved in like things I was and wasn't doing. But I remember one time he came to visit my apartment and he came by because he was parking his car and he put together that I was two-tone somehow. There's some sort of media that put it, put it like put my name with two-tone when I was a kid. Right. And he put together that I was two-tone and he was parking his car one day and he saw a two-tone tag on a meter. And he's like, I'm just coming to your house to give you a peace of mind. And on his way to my house, he parked his car and he looks, he looks, he looks this way across the street. And there's just like these huge, um, like right, literally like literally 18 feet from my house. This is how stupid we were as kids. 18 feet from my apartment, we just painted these huge grills, these huge like 20 foot roll down grills with like AWR letters. And my dad yeah. came by to yell at me about a parking meter and he said he saw that and he's like, oh, fuck it. I mean, it's over, you know? Yeah. He's so like, this guy's all city. He was like, man. He's all city. Yeah. I was all city in one city. Yeah. I was, I was such a fucking townie. I didn't leave Venice for. I didn't leave Venice forever, and then, like I remember, people well, that's were like, the way that, "That's how legends are made, isn't it?" No, like, no, legends like, are made by leaving. Are made? No. You're supposed to leave your neighborhood and go do other things, but I was so I was so you stuck. Were scared, so you I, were scared as a no, as I a didn't, I didn't, I didn't, no, I just, I just didn't want to leave. I didn't need, I didn't have any need to leave. I thought Venice was the epicenter of the entire planet, so I was like, why would I leave? And then people would be like, "Hey, we're going to this yard, you know, it's this place called Motor Yard." When I was a kid, and I was like, "Oh yeah, Motor Yard, yeah, I'm down." And I had never been to Motor Yard. I didn't know what the fuck it was, and they like took me there. Like no. all my friends had cars. I didn't have a car yet, and they put you'd me. You go in the to car. Santa Monica, you know, you you'd go to Santa Monica. You ever tag Santa Monica? Sure, sure, I tag Santa Monica. What's that? What's going on with you today? You seem a little subdued. What's are, are you all right? Is it some, subdued? Did you, did you lose a, an, an endorsement I'm or something? I'm listening. What's, I'm listening. I can't fucking listen. I'm just uh, now you're you're, 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 you're looking you're, you're, you're looking around. You you don't seem excited. You seem a little tired. You keep glancing. What is there? Fucking someone bringing I, in? I'm reading the notes. I'm reading the notes. Um, <laughs> don't make fun of me. What's the best no, peanut? I'm not subdued. I'm not subdued. I'm not subdued. What I'm, are you looking you know, at? What are you I'm, looking I'm, at? This is. I'm going to show I, you what it's like. While talking, I'm going to show you what it's like to be with you on the show. Because I, I got to keep talking for audio. But this is you. Yeah, you know, so I don't know. I'm thinking like, um, I think, yeah, it'd be great, Two-Tone. It's great, Two-Tone. Like, Jason doesn't want to do his job, you know? It's like, I don't know. And he's just like, he's just he's a fucking idiot. That's, this is you. No, just look. There's fly. This is, well, because, you know what? I'm facing my computer. Yeah. And be behind my computer is a giant, beautiful window that goes into like almost like a parkette. Yeah. And so then there's like people that walk by all the time and I can see them. And then I look and I was like, are they looking in? Do they hear that I'm talking about the things I'm talking about? Do they and hear then, me talking about come? And then my, and then my, 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 my coworkers, yeah. they look at me and they're like, Hey, you got to get off this in five minutes. Cause we have an important call soon. Where's like, Lisa? Oh, where's Lisa? Get Lisa. In She's here. right there. 
And then they all sit there quiet, and then they give me like hand gestures, and they're like, "Hey, like you got to wrap it up." They're like, "They're like a baseball coach." Yeah, wrap it up. Crunchy bar flying in. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, "Hey, so and but then I share this off. Like I have my restaurant partner, so then like my restaurant partner will walk over to his desk because usually everyone leaves the office while we podcast. Yes, but sometimes they don't, and so whenever I look around because my ADD is uh, uh, affluent. So it it it, your, it your I, ADD, I look. your hold on your ADD is affluent. What is that? Your well, ADD is, is rich. Like it's affluent. Like it's a ADD ADD the <laughs> your ADD <laughs> he barely. He's hanging out right there. Listen, your entire office is like for this 1 hour a week that you I'm do the show. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this podcast and I'm in the middle of a busy working space. And they have so no respect. For me. They have no respect for what it is that they you do. They have so much respect. No, no, no. They, they're like, can we they get through? Can we get back to our normal lives and get on, get on with our lives? Or this, Can we generate the money? Because this is bullshit. Well, that's the thing. I have like meetings after this that makes me money. So they're all waiting. All we have to do they is somehow, somehow we have to ascend to the highest heights. One day you're going to go on a show. Well, I'm going on yeah, I'm going on a big podcast soon. I'm, One day you're going to get on a big I'm podcast. I'm going on a big podcast, and that's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. It's going to change everything instantaneously. Oh, they're you know, so we're over four it. weeks late on Little Nas X. This is the reason. We're, you know, I think it's great. Um, also, uh, let's see. Uh, best peanut butter format. You're literally an idiot. Who writes that into an actual? What is the be- What does that mean? The best peanut butter format? What is it like is a it- smoothie or crunchy? Like who the fuck cares? Like like what's the best for like if you put it on like your private parts and let your dog eat it off? What I'm a you, daily. Like, what, what conversation can we have about stupid peanut butter? You well, stupid. I, I listen. I I like to periodically during my day. I like to get a scoop of peanut butter in my mouth just to kind of get me from one snack to the next. Part of my routine is eating uh, Laura Scudder's peanut butter you out of the eat fridge. Peanut butter. Yeah, I get a I get a little piece of peanut butter. Sometimes I have this. I don't like, eat peanut butter. You don't like peanut butter? Why? You're you have an allergy or something? You fucking dumb fuck. What do you? No, what do you I thinking? just don't eat peanut butter. It's like one of the. I'm like a tr- like I feel like children eat peanut butter. I don't oh, know. I'm so, oh I'm sorry, Mister Adult Diet. Yeah, you uh, only <laughs> children eat peanut butter. You literally fucking suck down chicken fingers and goddamn candy bars all day. <laughs> I do not eat. I, the only way that I eat chicken fingers <laughs> is literally. The only way that I eat chicken finger. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Keep going, man. Uh, don't uh, don't mind uh, me. I'm just adding value. I only eat chicken fingers if it's in a chicken buffalo chicken finger sub. Um, who would eat that? Who the fuck would eat? Who the fuck would eat one of those sandwiches without fucking dying? The sandwiches that have fried. Those sandwiches are so beautiful. Oh, you, you it's the greatest. That. You would eat it, and you would just be like, you would actually, you would be so mad. I would get. I would. You would. I would be, become that sad. Would be, that, that's see. That's the pod. I need to bring you to Robo Mart. You need to come to Fort Erie. Sure. You need to come to Robo Mart. Sure. And we need to give you a chicken finger sub because you will literally, it would be like, I feel like you would like throw it on the ground. You would hate it. Ilka and Minaj, <laughs> no disrespect. I love them. But it's just like, you would hate that sandwich. I would stomp the so sandwich much. to it's death. It's everything you hate. Yeah. There's nothing real inside of it. The, yeah. Even the, 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 the tomatoes are like those like half green mealy, like, but it's all together. It's so nice. Um, quick Maddie, question. Maddie, I had the first this weekend. Okay. I had the, for what? the first time in a year, I barbecued carne asada and ribs oh. and chicken and went to the I saw local, that. went I to the to market. FaceTime you when you were doing that. And I was like, so interested. You didn't pick up my FaceTime when I tried to FaceTime you. I was playing poker. I couldn't, I was in the middle of a hand. I couldn't pick up. Um, we we had a we oh. played poker and we barbecued outside in the middle of the day. It was the vaccination, glorious. the freedom, the freedom, the freedom. of vaccination. And you know what else? You know what else? A, a certain person you know is back in the gym, wrestling, mm. back at it. Are you back? You're 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 actually back. I saw a photo. I'm I back. thought it was a TBT. You're jujitsuing. I'm jujitsuing. The tough white belt is now tough white back belt. to being a white be- white belt, and Shout now out. he's going to get to a blue. In like a year, you'll be a blue. In six belt. years, I'll be a blue belt. Yeah, uh, because it'll be we'll be shut down forty two more times. Do you Shout feel good? Like getting back in? I like, fucking love where it. Where are I you at it. physically? Are you are you f- winded or you're just right back no, in? I'm good. I'm right back because this whole time I've been doing what? a maintenance program. Yes, because you've been you've been working. Because I've been working work out consistent. I've with been working meditations every day. Yes, you have to do your meditations. Your hiking. I've been planning you for the day. You just lose control. You no, lose control. I lose control. You got a few small routines. Yeah, I got routines. Routines. If I and the minute yeah. I stop doing those routines, I descend into madness. I'm a fucking. I'm a, I wake up at six a.m. and I doom scroll. 
until right. I'm nauseous. And by 7 a.m., I'm completely hysterical. I still do I that. I still do yeah, that shit. Okay. If there's something not okay. pressing, I'll turn on the phone and start looking mm. at things and just be like, mm. fuck. Mm. <sighs> well, you know what, Alex? It's great to see you. It's good to see uh, you, too. And, and I'm happy that you have your entire life back. Toronto is completely locked down. Bullshit. Uh, there's no vaccines given out to anybody. Bullshit. It's completely locked down. And uh, the Canadian government is a pile of fucking pieces of shit. It's giant pieces of shit that have turned into bricks. And they've built a kingdom out of shit. And the Canadian government is just a shit palace filled with shit bricks. And, uh, you know, go fuck yourself to the Canadian government completely. You guys are ruining the country. So good luck, you fucking losers. How are we going to get you over here for an extended amount of time so we can uh, get this? I'm coming. I know, but you can you just get a get a can you just get a condo here and jam uh, jam Trish and the kids into I'm, it? I'm literally in LA for three weeks straight. I'm Make there literally th the first three weeks of May. Make it three years, Shut baby. Shut up. Just take three years. Come you on out. You know I got my house in fucking. Uh, It'll be Park. fine. You It'll don't need fun. to worry about me, baby. You gotta get the family. The, oh, dog. we're gonna we're gonna say baby to each other now, baby. Listen, baby. Uh, baby, let me tell you something, baby. Hey, baby, listen, I'm baby. I'm gonna fucking suck your cock. We're gonna turn these cameras off. I'm gonna fucking. No, I, I I was doing the Hollywood baby, oh. not the not the sex baby. Oh, I'm, Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, baby. Oh, Hollywood baby. Yeah, Hollywood oh. baby. Hey, baby. How do you do Hollywood baby? Do we Hollywood were, baby. We were we were doing it till you guys. I thought we were just flirting. Till you turned sexual. We no, flirting. everything is in a fuck face. I, I, I just like I watched the little Nas X. So I'm like, let's go. Like, let's rip. I'll fucking. <laughs> you, you I, I wanna, was like, I'm down. You want to lap dance me as I dress like the devil? I want to suck Satan. I want to fuck Satan. I want Satan to fuck me. I want to do a little soissant neuf. A little sixty nine up enough. in yeah. the fucking ass. I want to go inside. I want the, I want the fucking Satan's horn inside my piss hole. Yes. I want to fucking. I want everything. I want it all, baby. I mean, if you could, if that's. What I want to be backwards, doggies. I want to be doggy style. My dick going backwards and the horns going in my pee hole and butthole same time. Okay. That's what I want. Okay. Well, let it be known. Hey. Can be God give me that? No, God can't give me that. Only Satan. Hail Satan. Yes. And that's a clip. Um <laughs> See, you wanted one? There you go. That's a you fucking got a clip, clip you baby. Fucking losers. There's a clip. I would like I would really love it Time if there was stamp a place. That. 3 hours into this stupid podcast. This, Let's go. This podcast is amazing. Okay, sorry. What were you saying? I would, I would like there to be I would love it if there was an afterlife where we could have a lot of fun and do whatever we want, but I don't think there I don't <sighs> believe there is. I think this is I it. I just wish there was a place we could <sighs> Drink and do drugs and party. We can't, Maddie. Die. We can't. We can't do. We we fucked it up. We fucked I it know. up. We fucked up. Icarus. We went too hard. Icarus. The the, the wax wings wax melted wings. on our wax on our fat wings. cherub bodies. We fucked. Oh. We did too much too soon too fast. You know what? There's people out there, Maddie, who can just casually have a weekend oh. and and get an eight ball. Imagine being a person that could just do a couple bumps like three times a year. Yeah, or even just they have a weird orgy with some with some hired help and some friends, uh, and they do some they get some coke and some mescaline, and they just have a dude, weekend. Once I in a honestly, while. dude, I honestly, I'm 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 friends with some dudes that were just in Alabama. Yeah, it was like fucking motorcycle thing, and I got a, I got a Facetime from one of my homies, and he Facetimed me, and they're all wasted, and they're all like wasted, and they're you know a bunch of dudes in Alabama and being psychopaths. Yeah. And I'm just like, I was just like, yeah, you guys really fucking partying? I was like, who's got the fucking bag? And all of a sudden, this dude just comes out with this fucking like Ziploc fucking bag. Of course, old they got the bag. bag. Yeah. And he was like, I'm pouring it over the whole phone. And he like took, and I was like, I'm getting out. Like, I was just like, I'm out of here. It was like, like, he like, it was crazy. And I was got just like, it was all of a sudden, I was like, so, I was like, let's go. Yeah. Let's, I'm in. And then I was like, this is why I go to bed at 9 30. Yeah. And I was just like, I'm a werewolf. I have to like protect myself at all costs. Yes. God oh. bless. God bless the people. That can casually have a good time with themselves, unlike these fucking idiots. Not named, me. Named me and you. Dude, who can't we can't no. even I can't even have one little fucking half a glass of wine without becoming a full idiot. I can't I can't just no. I, I'm such a stupid, dumb fucking idiot baby that I can't just like You're I can't such do an a, idiot baby. I can't do a casual little bump of coke and I go out and have you. fun. You're I have to just turn into idiot, a goddamn massacre. Baby. A massacre. Yeah, but that's the thing. You can't kill one person. You gotta kill them all. You gotta kill them all. You gotta kill all the zombies. You can't kill one zombie. Oh, right? Okay, let's read some ads. He's stressed. Look at him. All right, let's do this. Dude, it was so funny. 
Honestly, they like literally dumped like a fucking ounce of coke over this entire my like entire the dude's phone that was FaceTiming me. And I was like, I'm out of here. Okay, I have to pee so bad. I'm going to go pee pee.